I know I'm on a roll today, but you know, this stuff is just on my spirit. So I just want to talk about it. Uh, and this is a video directly to those who are doing well. Okay. Those who are doing well, uh, meaning that, Hey man, you ain't got no problem with paying your rent, your mortgage, your food bill, your light, your, your, your bill, your gas bill, whatever it is, you got a couple of extra dollars in your pocket. You're good. Um, I understand I'm speaking to you because I'm not speaking from the perspective of someone who has not been there. I've been there, I've been in your shoes where when I came into the knowledge of the truth, uh, I was doing very well. I mean, I had a couple of dollars in my pocket. I wasn't worried about being homeless or, or, or having a, you know, worrying about whether or not I, I can put food on the table or anything like that. Uh, however, I did understand that uh, the tide can change. And, you know, I've told the story, you know, a couple of times. I'll tell it again about a, a woman uh, by the name of Miriam Ortiz. I was working with her and, and we were project managers. And after we got laid off from a particular job, she wasn't able to recover. I mean, she, for some reason, she just was not able to get another job. Um, I don't know what the circumstances, but, you know, she was just as qualified as more qualified as me. But, um, you know, just over a year went by and she lost her house, um, uh, you know, and then she had to, uh, you know, work a job that was uh, less desirable and under her her previous pay grade. And, it, you know, it was a shocking uh, wake up call to me. Now, this happened before uh, me even coming in the knowledge of the truth, but it had a, an impression on me because it was like, you know, you never know if the right set of circumstances do not come along for you to replace your job uh, that you've had. Uh, and this is what particularly happened to her. And again, it had an impression on me and it, and it told me, especially when I, I woke up, is that anything can happen to anybody. Um, you could be riding high today. Everything could be good today. And then boom, you get laid off or boom, a medical condition happens or boom. Uh, a family emergency or an emergency or, or something. And then boom, you're thrown uh, before you know it, you're a month behind in rent or a mortgage or you're three months behind. And then before you know it, it's that death, that economic death spiral that takes place. Uh, and I didn't want to be in that situation. So I moved and I was proactive uh, in everything that I could do to shield myself from uh, uh, those uh, economic gyrations that can take place in a person's life. Uh, you know, and it's, you know, personally, you know I mean? I have a little sister, right? And she's a, has a director title and she's doing very, very well now. And, uh, she's, uh, uh, recently she purchased three MacBooks for each one of her nieces programmed them. I'm getting them in the mail, uh, tomorrow. And you know how much a MacBook, uh, costs, uh, in this day and age. And she's giving me three of them, one for each one of my daughters. And we're just so blessed. We're so thankful. Uh, they'll be able to use those, of course, for for learning uh, and, 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 and further in homeschool. And it's going to be very valuable for my sister. And she's going to give her she's giving them uh, uh, all types of toys and, you know, educational stuff. I mean, it's just it's just a blessing uh, to have a sister that's uh, in a position to do something like that. But I tell her all the time. Um, you know, prepare, you know, make sure that you're buying some gold, some silver, some, some, this, some, that, you know, uh, her husband, uh, you know, very, um, these are six figure earners. These are people that are doing very, very, very well in spite of the economy, but you never know what can take place. You never know what kind of downturns could take place. And so I tell people, um, uh, especially if you're aware be proactive, make the tough choices and decisions now so that you don't have to be in a situation as to where um, uh, you're dealing with these kind of insecurities because a lot of people, they are. Uh, they thought that life was going to continue to go on. They thought that um, uh, all was going to be well. And then guess what happened? Boom, something happened. And then, boom. I mean, it just happens just like that. And, and everybody thinks uh, there's nobody that thinks that it can happen to them. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, I'm a, I'm a positive person and I'm also proactive in everything that I've always been a proactive person. Um, uh, and part of that proactivity is understanding that, you know, Hey, if this job laid me off, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, after the unemployment runs out, uh, what am I going to do? And I've been laid off several times in corporate America before. I was always able to get another job. 
But I go back to the experience of uh, of this sister, Miriam Ortiz, where she wasn't able to get a job. She wasn't able to. And she lost the house. Um, uh, she lost her car. I mean, you know, she just ran into all of these situations as a direct result of not um, uh, being able to recoup from those losses. So I tell all people all the time, if you're doing well and these are people, this this video is for people that are doing well. Make sure that you hedge yourself. Make sure that you're putting yourself in a situation as to where it, you know, when uh, tough economic times come up and they're here now. They're not, it's not something that we've been talking about. This is something that we've been talking about for the past eight, nine years or 10 years. Uh, this is stuff that's happening now. Uh, and those who are wise, those who understand what's going on, what they're going to do is they're going to bite the bullet, make the tough choices decisions now so that, hey, you know, the payoff could be three, five, 10 years from now, but at least you're secure. At least you're not worrying about all of these things. So um, uh, for those that are doing well, make the tough choices and decisions now, um, because, you know, this society is talking about rich and poor, free and bond. And people, they, they don't they don't see what's happening um, uh, and the disparity between the rich and the poor today. It's happening right now. Um and they sure as hell ain't rich. I mean, my sister's well off, but she ain't rich. I can assure you of that. She ain't rich. I wasn't. I was well off. I wasn't rich. And so this is why I've. Uh, I, I think I've coined the term. There's going to be three groups of society. There's going to be the rich, the poor, and the self-sufficient. For those who are well off, which one are you going to be?